How do you find the right team and the right coach for your kid for their sport? I'm Marina and I am your host for Raising Extreme Athletes and today we're going to be talking about finding the right team, finding a good coach. How do you even go about doing something like that? So before we moved to Spain, me and my husband came here for about a week and we met with a lot of different teams and coaches and trainers and our kids are mid-level. They're not, you know, because they haven't been exposed to really high-end training. Obviously, in Guatemala, we were very limited with that, but they definitely have that raw talent, but then also they've been working and training on their own, which is not the same as training with a coach. And that's main, the main reason why we moved to Spain as well, so that we could find the correct coach, a good team to really start to challenge them and take them to the next level. So when we arrived here, we're gonna we're sticking to Barcelona, Catalonia area, because that's also where the best climbing, rock climbing is. And we went and we made all these different appointments with all these different gyms and the trainers. And every time we mentioned the level of our kids in climbing, it's the level of the routes that they are doing, right? So whenever we were mentioning certain levels to these coaches, a lot of them like, wow, they are really advanced. We don't really have kids that level here, but this is great. We're going to be really working with them. And we were excited that the facilities were amazing. And you could tell that the coaches are really excited until we got to this one gym and one coach. And it is CCT21. It's literally competition training in Catalonia. And interestingly enough, some of the gyms that we were going to before, they were like, you know what, we don't really have anything for that kind of level or competition training. You should check out this particular team. So finally, we met up with this team and the main person there is his name is Francesc. And when we told him the level of our boys, he was like, yeah, you know, that's kind of average. We have much stronger team, stronger kids here. So it's not like they would be above the rest. That's when we knew we just found our team. Why? First of all, he wasn't in awe of them, which is a big deal. You don't want anybody to be in awe of your kids because that doesn't really work that great. You want them to be like, okay, you know, we could, we, they're middle range, so we could definitely work with them to grow their level and whatnot. And that's when we knew this is the team that we are going to introduce our kids to, and this is the trainer that we want our kids to work with. Let me know if you guys have had other experiences, how you have found your own coaches for your kids. I'd really love to know that because everybody works differently and what your success rate has been with them. I'm Marina, host of Raising Extreme Athletes. And remember, it takes a strategic village to raise an extreme athlete.